AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist Jonathan Porter, Long Range and our hurricane experts have been looking at conditions, not only currently, but we're, what we're projecting ahead as we get toward the hurricane season, John. And we want to make a very special forecast that you can only find here on the AccuWeather Network, AccuWeather.com, and the AccuWeather app. That's right. Good morning, Bernie. We have concerns about a supercharged September. AccuWeather Hurricane and Long Range experts forecasting six to ten named storms. Later August, August 27th through September, the Atlantic is going to awaken and become very active. You know, John, it was back on March 26th we were the only source to actually give a forecast for the areas that we were most concerned about landfalling storms. This was issued on the AccuWeather Network, AccuWeather.com, and of course, the free AccuWeather app way back on March 26th. We did, and we highlighted several areas, the Carolina coastline, South Florida, Florida Panhandle, and parts of the Texas coast being at an increased risk for landfalls. And what have we had already this year? Several landfalls in those areas. Yeah, Barrel in the upper Texas coast. Uh, Debbie had two landfalls near Steenhatchee along the Big Bend of Florida as a hurricane, and uh, then near Bulls Bay, that is north of Charleston, as a tropical storm. So three of the four areas that we highlighted have already had a landfalling storm. John, let's take a look at the season so far. We are running a, a little bit ahead of where we should be. That's right, by the numbers, a bit ahead of schedule. Uh, the uh, number of named storms, five so far, uh, and uh, certainly three hurricanes and one major hurricane. But the big thing that stands out is the impacts that we've had, significant impacts already in many parts of the United States. Yeah, in fact, John, what you shouldn't be seeing right now are long track hurricanes, but yet we've had two of them, including Barrel which was a major hurricane back in early July. To me, that's what stands out so far for this hurricane season. That's correct, and also the degree of the impacts. The inland flooding was severe in many cases with both of these storms, caused lots of damage and, uh, and, and much danger, as well as the tornado risk, especially with barrels. So there's been a lot of impacts already, as AccuWeather experts had warned before all other sources. And the AccuWeather forecast uh, is now for a little bit of a breather over the next week to 10 days. John, take a look at the tropics. It's as, as quiet as you'll see at this time of the year. Yeah, you can almost hear a pin drop here across yeah. the entire Atlantic uh, basin. But we do not want let people to let their guard down because this is going to be changing very quickly as we head toward the end of August and into September. Yeah, take a look at the water vapor loop, at, and here's some of the reasoning, John, that in a tropical convergence zone, you could see that little white and blue. That's down at 10 degrees north. That should be at around 15 degrees north. That's one uh, reason, uh, rationale for there to be less storms right now, but really the big story is the dry air. That's eye-popping on that water vapor loop. <laughs> yeah, it stands out a lot. That dry air is in this red and orange hues, and when you have so much dry air across the main part of the development region here in the Atlantic that suppresses the development of storms. There's also been lots and you can see it in the wind here. There's been lots of these clouds moving uh, rapidly from east to west. There's been lots of easterly wind, which is pretty uh, atypical here coming off the coast of uh, of Africa. That wind has been uh, also helping to uh, reduce the number of storms, too. But that is also going to be changing. All right, yeah, in fact, let's take a look at the green. Uh, let's take a look at this again. We think these conditions are still in play right through about August 26. So you listen, we're going to watch that area in the Gulf of Mexico. I've been mentioning right. that all, uh, all week on the AccuWeather Network here. But through August 26, it remains relatively quiet. But then, John, all the ingredients we think uh, start to change. Yeah, and that would be right along what we would typically be expecting this time of the year. Of course, the peak of the hurricane season uh, in terms of the number of named storms tends to be on uh, September 10th. And right on schedule, that warm water, less dust, the dust is going to be less of a factor with that dry air and reduced wind shear means that the factors are going to come together as well as some of the other uh, things that we look at around the world that can help be a signal for increased activity in the Atlantic Basin all seems to be coming together during September. Yeah, let's take a look at the supercharged uh, September season that AccuWeather is forecasting, John. So here's the six to ten named storms uh, during the uh, uh, course of September. Of course, that's uh, above the historic average. We expect that there will be multiple storms to track 
on any given day as we head through September. So a lot of activity to be keeping you updated about here all across all of the AccuWeather uh, platforms. We are expecting a lower risk for direct landfalls from Long Island up into, North, into New England. Uh, but other than that, we're expecting the other landfall areas that we highlighted again exclusively way back in March. Uh, those will remain unchanged here as we head through the rest of the season. So we need everybody along the Atlantic and Gulf Coast and inland areas that can uh, deal with isolated tornadoes and flooding impacts from tropical storms and hurricanes to be on alert. But the long range team and also our hurricane experts don't stop with September. The hurricane season lasts through November. No, and uh, with uh, that uh, intensifying La Nina setup that we've been talking about for months, we expect it will remain unusually active in October and November with multiple storms, and the season may even last into December. We may be tracking storms in parts of the Atlantic even as we head into December. All right, AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist Jonathan Porter with the special announcement. Again, AccuWeather predicting a supercharged September uh, hurricane season. Six to ten named storms from August 27th through September. John, thanks for joining us.